Hey Gemini, hope you guys are great. So this is going to be a general love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half of September 2022. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And also because it's general, it also means that the roles can be reversed in this reading. All right, Gemini, let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What is going on between you and another person for the second half of September 2022? All right, Gemini, for the situation, we have the Knight of Swords crossed by Judgment. Ooh, okay. Hmm. All right. I feel like somebody is really trying to make a decision here about an action. Um, it also feels like there's a lot of restless energy um, coming in from somebody or it's already here, it's been here. Whatever this restless energy is, there's like some kind of a truth. There's a truth that somebody is wanting to either speak or bring about, all right? Because both the Knight of Swords and Judgment both of these cards do talk about truth. So there's a major truth here that I feel is actually even serving as the challenge, especially in terms of either speaking it or taking action on it. Let's see for the recent past, we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so some stability here. Now, it could even be that the, that this is somebody that you're dealing with, all right? Um, either you or the other person um, may have been in some kind of a commitment, possibly, all right, in the past and is in some way is affecting the situation, okay? It doesn't have to be, but this is what it feels like to me. We'll see more when we clarify. So for you, we have the Three of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Okay. So it's like you're, you're either wanting to work together with this person, or maybe you do work with this person, but it feels like there's, you have this, um, not desire, but it's like you're willing to work together with this person. Um, for some of you, it could even be that you're friend zoning this person for now. And I don't know, there's something here that you're either keeping to yourself but I feel like whatever that is, whatever it is that you're keeping to yourself and possibly not sharing with this person, I do get that you're following your intuition here in whatever it is that you're doing. Let's see for them. The Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, so we have both the King and the Queen. And the Knight of Wands. Okay, yeah. So it definitely could be that there's... A third party here that's just how it's showing up to me that's how it's feeling to me um, whatever this situation is with the other person because I'm seeing it as being the other person okay feel free to reverse the roles um, I feel like there's a lot of back and forth or in and out when it comes to something in that in that connection so I don't know if if it's a friend, if it's a family member, if it's a partner, whatever whatever that person is, um, they might not even be like 100% together because I feel like with this Knight of Wands, there's a lot of fluctuation, possibly even like a moving away from this currently. We'll see. For the near future, we have the Page of Wands and the message for you is the Magician. Okay, so something something is happening here with that Page of Wands. I see it more as being some kind of communication or some kind of motivation, either from you or from them, possibly in order to somehow work together or to have some kind of a working relationship in some way. So we'll see what that's about. And definitely, I mean, the message for you here with the magician is that, you know, you, you're you manifesting. I don't know what you're manifesting, but you're manifesting. You're more capable than you possibly realize, all right? That's why this is showing up as the message because you need to hear it. So let's actually clarify. 
What is going on here? What is all of this about? It's a little confusing to me, to be honest. Alright, so let's see. Knight of Swords with Judgment. And we get the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. It does feel like we have quite a bit of pentacles, so some of you might be dealing with an earth sign or somebody that has strong earth or maybe you have strong earth. All right, what is this truth? What is this? It's almost like there's like some kind of a wake up call um, that somebody needs to listen to but is having a hard time listening to it. It does feel like it's coming in, but like a little bit slowly especially in terms of taking a new path when it comes to commitment. It, it's almost like, you know, there's this plan and I feel like things are actually on track, to be honest. It feels like things are actually on track um, and it, that it's just really a matter of time before either some major decision is made to act in truth or... Um, until somebody just really gets that wake-up call hard. But it is on track. It is on track. And it's moving towards a new path in terms of stability, in terms of connection. I feel like whatever truth needs to be spoken here, again, it's in terms of whatever that truth being, that it, it just... There's something very stable about it and that it needs to come out in a very, very stable way. So take that however it makes sense to you, but that's what I'm hearing. Okay, so let's see this King of Pentacles for the recent past. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Okay, yeah, so it's like, definitely feels like there's something here about stability and about a commitment, um, whatever that might be, it might even be work, okay, where there's this really strong hold on that or a very strong hold on a particular role and that somebody was holding on to. So because, and I do feel like it's the other person, because they were holding on to this role like so strongly, um, it prevents them from coming in as this Knight of Cups. Now, I do also get that this person actually has come in with some kind of romance or some kind of an offer at some point. But then they hold back. They hold back in terms of, of um, full-blown commitment here. All right. Or at least that's what was happening in the past. Let's see your energy. Let's see the Three of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so yeah, I, I feel like you're friend zoning this person, um, either directly in the 3D or energetically. Um, you do have love for them though, that's the thing. You do have love, but you're trying to block that out a little bit so that you can maintain this like either working relationship or friend zone. Um, and I do get that you're doing that in as a way of setting boundaries or making a statement. So I don't see that as being negative. I actually, like I said, I feel like you're following your intuition with that and you're just standing your ground, you're setting boundaries, and so this is why you have this person in the friend zone, which makes sense. So let's see, High Priestess. The Empress, yeah, and the Seven of Swords. <laughs> yeah, the fact that you, it's like you're, okay, how do I say this? You're not being deceptive to this person um, exactly. It's not really that, but you are keeping things from them. You are 
holding something back and I feel like that's you know this ace of cups right the, the love that you feel like the expression of that and it, but again you're doing that because you're following your intuition and because you're standing strong as this empress so even though that love is there and you would want to express affection emotions love for this person you're not you're not almost like you're you're hiding that aspect from them but again you're doing it for your own sake for your own sense of integrity so yeah with that Empress being there I was right in saying that you know it's it's for good reason you're setting boundaries here you know what you're doing you know what you're doing Gemini all right let's see this person let's see this Queen of Pentacles The star and the page of wands showing up a second time here. What is happening here? Um, yeah, I feel like this is somebody else. I don't know what role this person plays, all right? Um, it's either somebody else or just some kind of a third party here. And whoever this is, and this it's, it's like this person's energy is showing up here, right? It's not even your person's energy, it's this person's energy. This is somebody who um, really wants this person, who really wants to be with this person, and I feel is taking some action in order to have their wish in order to have what it is that they want. So this is somebody who is really pursuing um, the person that you're dealing with here. I don't know if they're really going about it in a very like mature way, but they're trying to get something here. And they have a lot of motivation to, to get what it is that they want. All right, let's see. Knight of Wands. Six of Swords and the Ace of Swords. All right, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't feel like your person, though, is actually, like, giving into that or falling for that because I actually see them moving away from this. As I said, I feel like there has been some back and forth. There's some in and out here. Um, but ultimately, I see them moving towards their truth, right? Um, possibly even speaking that truth to this person, but they're moving away from this. It's... Again, like I said, there is a little bit of back and forth. It's not very consistent. It's not very stable. So I feel like, okay, now that what I was saying about the stable truth, like that's now making sense. So what that is, what that's about is this person, all right, your person, speaking their truth consistently, being stable in other words, all right, being consistent in terms of speaking their truth, not being wishy-washy about it, not speaking their truth to this person or to you, and then, you know, being like, yeah, but, you know, taking it back almost and then not really acting on it. That's, that's what that is, being consistent in this truth. And I see them moving in that direction. So yeah, it is, it could still be a little bit of that back and forth, but ultimately they're moving more and more towards that truth moving away from this whatever situation this is all right Gemini let's see let's see that page of wands in the near future and we have the Emperor and the two of Pentacles Mm, okay, I, I don't know why this other person is showing up here so much. Like, I don't think I've ever had this in a reading, actually, <laughs> um, other than personal readings, obviously. Um, but I feel like it's your person's other situation that is showing up here again. And I don't know why, because usually that doesn't happen because it's not so relevant to you. So maybe in this particular case, it is in some way relevant to you. But I do see that other person that your person is dealing with so let's just call it the third party, 
Um, really trying to take charge here. There's a lot of motivation behind having control. However, um, I feel like it's going to shake things up, all of this, because your person is not giving into that. As I said, they're moving closer and closer to their truth, to speaking their truth and to sticking by it, sticking to it. And so because of that, it's like, it's shaking things up. It's creating some kind of an instability, actually, in their connection. Um, so for whatever reason, it, that wanted to come through and <laughs> yeah, you were meant to hear that. Okay, so let's see the magician for the final message here for you. The Hermit and the Page of Cups. All right, so Virgo's energy is showing up here. Um, we also have Aquarius, which I forgot to mention, and those are the ones that are standing out to me the most. Also a little bit of Aries, and like I said before, Earth signs as well. Okay, so you're manifesting by actually keeping to yourself. And the fact that you're keeping your emotions again, to your own self or just exploring your emotions, kind of like on your own, that is what is helping you to manifest and to bring about whatever it is that's in your highest good. All right, Gemini, strange reading today. So let's see if this resonated. Let's get a final oracle card for you. And we have milk and honey. This is beautiful. This is all about happiness, love, things, things getting easier. And that's the message from spirit here. Things are getting easier for you. And I feel like it's because you're actually setting your boundaries, you know, recognizing your own sense of self-worth and putting your foot down wherever it is that you need to put it down, basically. So yeah, that is it, Gemini. I thank you so much for watching and much love.